Stew is unattractive to begin with. Add in gully dwarf ingredients? And now it's barely edible. Today I'm making Gully Dwarf Stew from Tika's cookbook in Leaves from the Inn of the Last Home. If you've made this recipe, share your thoughts in the comments below. Keeping in mind that Gully Dwarfs cannot count past two, our ingredients for today's recipe are meat from two medium-sized lizards, I opted for stew meat, two tablespoons flour two times, <laughs> two potatoes, and one for pot, mangled, two carrots two times, stabbed, one stalk celery, stabbed, two onions, murdered, Two bouillon cubes crushed. Two cups water burbled. One teaspoon <laughs> sauce. Two tablespoons parsley murdered. Two cloves garlic mashed. One bongle berry leaf. One teaspoon red gunk. One teaspoon salt. One sneeze black pepper. I began by assembling all the ingredients and rather than four carrots, I found two obscenely large ones. I'm speeding up the preparation of the ingredients for a couple of obvious reasons. The first reason is that I am not talented at food prep. I mean, my knife skills are embarrassing. And the second reason is that it's just not that interesting to watch. Next, I chopped the celery stick, bundled up. Then I quartered three potatoes. It recommends dicing them, but I like larger chunks of potato in my stew. This next step was absolute torture. These onions got the better of me. I was crying with a runny nose through this whole process of chopping them. Poorly, I might add. I'm fortunate I didn't lose a finger. Next, I chopped some fresh parsley. We have some in our herb garden, but our weather has been off and I opted to go for store-bought for this recipe. I crushed the two bouillon cubes just to make sure they mixed into the hot water as quickly as possible. Then I minced the two cloves of garlic. With the ingredient prep work done, I was ready to start cooking. I'm using a cast iron Dutch oven because once we move to cast iron cookware, nothing else will do. I added 1 4 cup of flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, and 1 half teaspoon of black pepper. I mixed them together and added the stew meat, coating the meat as much as possible. I do have a bit more meat than is called for, but that's how our butcher packaged it. Next, I added two cups of boiling water with the bouillon cubes, mixing it to help disperse the cubes. Finally, I added the rest of the ingredients one at a time. The two minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, two chopped onions, three diced potatoes, one teaspoon paprika, one stalk sliced celery, four sliced carrots, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, and one bay leaf. I mixed it all together and set the temperature on low. The recipe states to cook it on low simmering heat for four to six hours, or until tender, stirring occasionally. I opted to check on the stew every 30 minutes. It took us four hours before it was ready.
As you can see, it's not a particularly attractive dish. It did, however, taste really good. I would use more paprika, salt, and pepper next time, in addition to adding some bourbon for another engaging flavor note. All in all, it was a good recipe, but nothing to write home to the high bulb of Zach Saroth about. Thank you for tuning in to this Dragonlance recipe episode. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjavar.